the channel. My name is AJ, call sign Sandman, and you're watching eHobby Asia. Now, sit back, relax, and crack open a cold one, because today we will be reviewing the SR Hell P3 helmet. But before we start, a little bit of information on SRU themselves. SRU Precision is known for pushing the boundaries of innovation and design in the airsoft industry. Using 3D rendered schematics and high quality 3D, 3D printing materials for their products, they make things that's uniquely designed, like armors and helmets, to even outlandish designs of bullpup rifles and pistol carbon kits, which I think is pretty cool. The P3 helmet is no exception. The Thing silhouette is sleek and unique with a helmet looking like something out of a sci-fi game, like Star Citizen for example, with its super wide face here. The face panel actually flips up with the press of a button, which allows the user to access their face, for whatever reason, without removing the helmet. What's cool about this piece is that it's actually two separate pieces. The front part, which is basically the face panel, and of course the back part, which is the fast helmet. This allows for a lot of customizability. The lens have been treated with anti-fog, so your vision won't be obscured when you're in the middle of a taxi skirmish. The lens and the whole helmet in general are, in fact, impact rated up to 500 FPS with 0.25 degrees, which is actually more than enough protection in a CQB environment. Compared to previous iterations of the SRU lineup, the P3 has a wider field of view, allowing for the users to be more aware of their surroundings without much restriction. Which is pretty great since the biggest complaint about the older models like the P1 and P2 was its limited visual range. The helmet also features a mounting rack for GoPro users and the set does come with a Insta360 adapter if you prefer using that. The coolest feature however is the fact that the helmet setup has an airflow system by way of two earpieces included in the kit. It uses two silent turbo fans which is powered by a power bank. One fan in each earpiece to circulate air while wearing the helmet to make sure that it's comfortable to wear during long, sustained skirmishes. When it comes to customizability, SRU did say that they're going to release a bunch of aftermarket parts, which is pretty good because this piece basically is based off the fast helmet. A lot of modularity, you can basically add whatever you want to it. Of course, there are some limitations, but hey, with this kind of product, you can look forward to that. Overall, the helmet is not overtly heavy but it's a little bit too bulky for my taste. However, the protection and comfort that the helmet provides does circumvent the bulk, and since the helmet is modular, I'm sure users will find a way to set up the helmet in a way that they would be happy with. Because, let's face it, this helmet looks sick. For more products like this, and you want to know more about it, check out eHobbyAsia. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.